I am Dr. N. K. Venkatramana, Founder Chairman and uh, Chief Neurosurgeon of Brains Super Speciality Hospital. Many people think spine is a bunch of bones. There is a lot of confusion. <clears throat> it is a bone problem or a neuro problem. I would like to explain to you that uh, brain also has got a bone around that. It's called skull. Because there is a thick skull, the brain is protected inside. It shows the value of the brain and also the importance that is required to protect the brain from the external situations. Similarly, brain continues down as the spinal cord and through the spinal cord it gets connected to the various parts of the body. Every single dot of the body is connected to the brain through the nerves which goes through the spinal cord. Thus, spinal cord is nothing but a continuation of the brain and it has got millions of nerve fibers. They are so fine, so delicate. That is the reason God has provided multiple bones around the spinal cord so that it is protected in an absolutely tough, tight, bony cage. So, that is the first reason. And they are also provided a lot of uh, ligaments, joints, and a very peculiar substance is called discs. They act like washers. You know, we have about 33 washers starting from the neck all the way down to the bottom. So, because of that, we are able to bend the neck, move the neck, similarly bend the back, turn around. The total flexibility has come to the body purely because of the discs. Now, originally, all the animals were walking with the four uh, limbs and uh, human beings, we have evolved to walk with only two legs. So, when it happened, the curvatures have to get adopted. So, all the joints in the body, starting from the neck all the way to the down, all the spine joints and the curvatures are so well adjusted that you are able to stand or sit perfectly and the load, when you sit, is on the lower part of the spine. When you stand, it is on the knee joints and the hip. So, when you are getting up, is the hip joints and the knee joints which will help us to get up. So, it everything in the body, all the joints work in synchrony so that we maintain the mobility as well as the stability. That is the reason we do not fall down when you walk unless there is a circumstance where we are a slippery situation or everything. For that also, we are able to manage the muscles which will act in this way. So, the spine is nothing but a, a neurological structure st are surrounded and protected by the bone and intervened by the joints for its mobility and the ligaments and the discs which acts like a washers supported by number of muscles which will make the spine move very beautifully and not only for walking and crawling and climbing it is also for dancing and for so many purposes the spine is being used in day to day life starting from morning to whole night till you take rest. All these movements are being possible only by this beautiful structure and integration of these structures and an alignment that happens. Now, anything that goes wrong in any of these alignment, muscle, joints, discs and the entire spine mobility will come down. And these are the various reasons for the pain which can cause the neck pain, back pain or the low back pain. But when these structures they are injured by themselves, it is only the pain, but when they touch the nerve which are inside the spinal cord, then you get that shooting pain which is called as a radicular pain, it could be to the hand, it could be to the leg, numbness, burning, weakness and wasting of the muscles. Now, every single muscle in the body is being acted by the nerves which are connected from the brain to that. The message from the brain comes all the way through the spinal cord, comes out through the nerve to the particular muscle either to move or to relax. And if the nerve is not working, obviously the muscle will not work. So, the spine is nothing but a great spinal cord or the great neural cable that communicates both ways from the brain to the body as well as from the body takes all the information what is happening to the brain.